four of 25 Days of Drams, the Dram Team's Advent giveaway and feature, where we're going to be surveying your thoughts on Advent calendars and what you'd like to see in one that we could make for next year, as well as giving you the opportunity to win all the Drams in our calendar that we are talking you through until Christmas Day. So get involved if you haven't already done so. Right, so what have we got in store for day four? I believe it's quite exciting. It is. It is Berry Brothers and Rudd, that's an independent bottler, Orkney Island's 15 year old single malt Scotch whiskey, and there's a Highland Scotch whiskey, as you'll know if you know where the Orkney Islands are. Let me grab the full bottle and show you the label. I'm showing you the label, I'll give you a nice long look because I really like the simple classic design of the Berry Brothers and Rudd label. They look great on the shelf if you have more than one of them, and they give you all the stats of the specific whiskey. And you'll notice also they have the Royal Insignia. So that's the first thing that I think is interesting about not just this whiskey, but anything from Berry, Bross and Rudd, their own bottlings. They are the UK's oldest independent bottler. They're also famous for being a wine merchant, but the oldest independent bottler of whiskey. So they've really got uh, some history behind them and they know what they're doing. <laughs> that's, that's evident in all their drams. So let me grab a glass of this one and talk to you about it a little bit more. So we know this is in Orkney Islands and it's 15 years old. What we don't know is specifically which distillery it is from, or it's not disclosed anyway. I happen to know that this is from the Highlands' most northerly distillery, in fact, the most northerly distillery in Scotland. There are two distilleries on uh, Orkney Island, that is Highland Park and Scapa. And I can't tell you which one it is, but I can tell you that it isn't Scapa, which is exactly what Mary Brotherson told me when I asked them. So I'll leave you to try and figure that one out while I have a smell and a taste. Oh, that is beautiful. So another interesting thing about this particular expression, it is a cask strength. So this is at 58, no, sorry, 56.8%. So you're going to get all that intensity of flavor that you would straight out the cask. You can really smell that now and you can really, I believe, taste it as well. Yeah. Wow. So this is like a normal Highland Park on steroids. There's so much flavor and so much aroma to it. It's a really complex, rich whiskey, which you could spend, you could pour yourself a good double. You could spend a very happy hour with that, getting to grips with it and, and getting all the flavors out of it because there's so much going on. You've got some lovely gentle heather smoke that uh, Highland Park is known for, and you've got some sweetness. When you first open it up, I found it quite savory, but this bottle's been open for a little while and it's really coming to itself now absolutely beautiful so yes good one for day four a little bit different to what we've had an independent bottling at cast strength of an unnamed orkney island malt so i've really enjoyed this one and i hope that i'll see you tomorrow for day number five thank you very much and cheers oh wow that is so nice Bye.